The Oregon Project seeks to faithfully steward our organs so that they can continue to serve their vital role in the life of our church. Before we take a look at the work that needs to be done on our sanctuary organ, we need to look briefly at how the organ works. The organ system starts at the blower, which fills chests with pressurized air. Once a stop is drawn at the console, a set of pipes is activated, and when I press keys on the corresponding keyboard, air is released into the pipes through a valve, and the pipes play. The work to be done falls into the categories of maintenance and improvements. In terms of maintenance or repairs, there are several issues that need to be addressed in the winding system and in the pipes themselves. Inside the wind chests are leather pouches that operate the pipe valves. The leather has a 40 to 50 year lifespan and our organ will be 40 years old next year. Rather than simply replacing the leather, we want to upgrade the wind chests to a different type of action called slider action. Slider action chests require less maintenance, they allow for an improved layout of the pipes that is more space efficient, and they have tonal advantages in the way that the pipes interact with each other. In electro-pneumatic action like we have currently, the pipes have to be spaced out to a certain distance to accommodate the leather pouches under each pipe. In slider action chests, the pipes can be placed much more close together, so this will help to create space within the pipe chambers for the pipes that we'd like to add, as well as improve accessibility in the organ chamber for maintenance. There's a weakness in the metal many of the pipes are made out of that is causing them to uh, collapse under their own weight. We've already been through a couple rounds of having the front facade pipes replaced, and now we're seeing some pipes in the interior that are gonna need to be replaced as well. You can see a bulge in the bottom of uh, this large pedal pipe here. Each of the 3,300 pipes on our organ falls into one of two categories in the way that they speak, in the way they produce sound. We have flue pipes and reed pipes. So I have a reed pipe here, and inside the boot is um, a vibrating tongue. So it plays in the same way that an oboe or clarinet produces sound. All of the reed pipes in our front organ, that's more than 550 pipes total, are worn out and need to be replaced. The desire to improve the tone of our organ goes back nearly a decade to the time of my predecessor, Ron Miller. Each stop or set of pipes in the organ plays at a specific pitch level. Unison pitch is our human voice range, or it's the note that you hear when you press a key at the piano. Organ pipes vary in their pitch level all the way from two octaves below unison pitch to more than two octaves above. Our organ is lacking in pipes in that the unison pitch level and the human voice range, and those pipes are crucial to leading and supporting singing well. So we hope to add pipes in the eight foot range or unison pitch level. These stops were prepared for when the new console was installed in 2015, so the draw knobs are here, but there's no pipes, so they don't play. Ideas for improving the organ have been percolating for years, going back almost a decade. But the project began in an official capacity almost a year ago when the organ committee was formed under the leadership of Tom Stonecipher. Since that time, an organ funding committee has also been created, chaired by BJ Unthank. There's a lot to consider. As we have been evaluating what needs to be done, we've come to realize that a comprehensive overhaul of the entire instrument is what is needed. And since the room an organ is in acts as the organ's sounding board, just as the body of a guitar acts as the guitar sounding board, we're evaluating the acoustics of our sanctuary as well. The Moeller organ in Smith Chapel is in need of attention, so that's also something that we're looking into. Our organ committees are working hard and taking everything into consideration to ensure that we take care of our organs in the best way possible and they continue to serve our church for generations to come. We're still very much in the planning phase and uncovering what needs to be done, and the project will go on for another three to five years until complete. 
I consider it a great privilege to be part of this work, and I invite you to join in in a direct way as well. Please pray for the project, stay informed through updates on the website and these videos, and consider contributing financially to the work as well. The Organ Project is an investment in our music and worship for the next 100 years to the glory of God alone.